Hallelujah. Father, I thank you today that I come in prayer and I come in faith today, thanking you that you are my strength. I thank you that I am not weak today because I'm trusting in you. I thank you that no matter what valley, what storm, what mountain or what giant I am facing on today, I thank you, Lord God, for strength. I come today standing on your word, God. I know that you look over your word to perform it. I know that you cannot lie. If you said it, it is so. And so, Lord, I stand on Isaiah 41 and 10 today, and I thank you that I do not fear. I know that you're with me. I am not dismayed. I know that you are God and that you will help me. I thank you, Lord God, that you strengthen me and you hold me up with your right hand of righteousness. I thank you, Father, today. Lord God, according to Isaiah 40 and 31, I thank you that I wait on you, Lord, and renew my strength. I thank you that I mount up with wings as eagles, and I thank you that I run and I'm not weary. I thank you that I walk and I don't faint. I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I'm standing on this word today, thanking you for strength today, Lord God. I thank you for Psalm 73 and 26, Lord God. And I stand on it knowing that my flesh and my heart fails. But God, I thank you, Lord God, that you are the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Lord, I praise you today and thank you for supernatural strength. Philippians 4 and 13 reminds me that I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. So I thank you that I don't give up and quit. I thank you that I don't faint, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. Even when I'm feeling faint, I stand on your word in Isaiah 40 and 29 that reminds me that you give power to the faint and to them that have no might, you increase strength. So, Father, thank you for increased strength. Thank you for power today, God, that comes from you. I thank you, Lord God. I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecution, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I'm weak, I am strong, Lord God, according to 2 Corinthians 12 and 10. I thank you, Lord God, that you've not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, Father, thank you for strength today, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. I know that fear does not come from you. And so, Lord God, I thank you that I walk in the power, the love, and I thank you for the sound mind. Thank you for strength today, Lord God. I thank you that your word reminds me that you're faithful and that you will establish me and keep me from evil, according to 2 Thessalonians 3 and 3. So, Father, I thank you you. I seek you and your strength. I seek your face continually according to first Chronicles 16 and 11. Lord, I thank you today that I love you, Lord, my strength. You are my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower according to Psalm 18, 1 and 2. Thank you, God. I thank you that you are my strength. I thank you for being that rock, that fortress and that deliverer that I don't have to trust in people places or things, but my trust is in you, God. I thank you, Lord God. Uh, watch. Stand fast in the faith and quit like men. Be strong. I thank you for your word in 1 Corinthians 16 and 13. Lord God, I stand fast in the faith. I thank you, Lord God, that I am strong in Christ Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. I sing of your power. I sing aloud of your mercy in the morning. I thank you that you've been my defense and refuge in the day of trouble, according to Psalm 59 and 16. Oh, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God. I thank you for your great power and your stretched out arm, Lord God. There's nothing too hard for you according to Jeremiah 32 and 17. I thank you, Lord, that you are my strength and I thank you that you make my feet like hinds feet and you make me to walk up on my high places. I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus for Habakkuk 3 and 19. Father, I thank you, Lord God, finally, that I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of your might according to Ephesians 6 and 10. I thank you for your word today, Lord God, that is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. I thank you that it's piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Thank you for your word that strengthens me, God. Thank you for Jesus who is the living word. And once again, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So through your word, Father, and by your word, I thank you that I am strengthened. I thank you, Lord God. I love you with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my my mind and with all my strength, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, according to Mark 12 and 30. And so, Lord, thank you, Lord God, for being everything. Thank you, Lord God, that I'm strengthened today and I will not faint because I know that I can cast my cares on you because you care for me. 
And I know as I bring my request before you that Ephesians 3, 20 and 21 remind me now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end. I thank you father in the name of Jesus Lord God. I thank you that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I ask ask or think. So I am not worried or anxious or careful about anything, but I thank you, Lord God, in everything with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. I let my request be made known unto you and you give me the peace of God that passes all understanding to keep my heart and mind. And so, Father, I thank you, Lord God, today, not by might nor by power, but by your spirit, God. I thank you today. I thank you for strength. I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. I bless your name today, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. God. I thank you, Lord God, my rock, my fortress, and my counselor. I thank you, Lord God, my buckler and my shield. I thank you, God, my strength. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come today grateful for strength, supernatural that comes from you. I thank you, Lord God, for victory, Lord God, that comes from you. I thank you that I'm more than a conqueror through him that loved me. I thank you that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I thank you that you're a very present help in trouble, that you never leave nor forsake me. And if you before me, God, who can be against me. I thank you that I'm strengthened today, God, and I thank you that I'm not weak. Your word tells me those that quit in the day of adversity, their strength is small, but I thank you that my strength, Lord God, is not small. My strength, Lord God, is through your word, through Christ Jesus, and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. So, Father, as I go forward today, every step that I take, every mountain that I face, every giant before me, every storm that I must endure, and every valley that I am treading through, I thank you that I will come out and come over. I thank you, Lord God, for victory and for strength. I thank you for spiritual growth and increase. I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, because I know that just as you were with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace, God, I thank you just as you were with Lord God, Daniel, in the lion's den. I thank you, God. Hallelujah, Lord God, that you are with me. And so, Father, thank you for your divine presence. Thank you for supernatural strength. Thank you that I will make it through this day. I will make it through the next day. I will make it because, God, I thank you, Lord God. Whom shall I fear if you're for me? Lord God, I thank you that I won't faint, but I'm strong and I stand. I have on the armor of God and I stand against the wiles of the devil. I thank you, Lord God. I stand today and I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus for giving me all that I stand in need of, Lord God. Thank you for your covering. Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your word. Thank you for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Thank you for holding me up. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for strengthening me. I give you all the praise and the glory and the honor, God, because I can trust in you and you only. Thank you for what you've already done in my life. Thank you for what you're doing right now. And I give you praise, glory, and honor for what you're about to do. It is in the mighty matchless, powerful name of Jesus that I pray and I say hallelujah and amen.